America is now respected once again. I'm just going to give you the list of all the companies that decided to pull out of any for any business with Iran in the last 72 hours. Okay, it starts with the Boeing and Airbus. It continues with British Petroleum, with a big energy company of France called Total, with a big energy company of Poland called PGNIG, for a big bank in Germany that was supposed to give loans to some of those companies called DZ Bank, for a big energy company in Italy called Eni, for the big French car manufacturers of Renault and Citroën and Peugeot, and a big Danish container company called Mares, all these companies did not even wait for their governments to decide anything. They pulled out immediately because they want to do business with America. <laughs> America could not even dream of having such respect just up until two years ago. It's, it's amazing how prayers work and we see Israel in the last few years found trillions of cubic feet of gas and oil in the Middle East. By the way, I believe that is exactly what, what was the hook that brought Russia to the Middle East. It brought them down to Syria, not because they care much about Bashar al-Assad. They want to keep their interest in the Mediterranean in case, I mean, they want, let's put it this way, they want to enjoy the spoils. The Prime Minister of Israel was interviewed to uh, Judge Janine just about a few days ago on Fox News, and I was shocked. He said this, he said, Russia is not in agreement with Iran in Syria because Iran com competes with Russia on the spoils. Think about it, the spoils. And I'm thinking to myself, he must have read Ezekiel 38 because the whole point of that war is spoils. The whole point of that war is nothing to do with religion, nothing to do with tradition, nothing to do with, with po politics. It has to do with spoils. The Bible says they're coming to take booty, to steal, to plunder, to, to just take. 